In my first book, Too Much and Never Enough, I wrote the following. If Donald can in any way profit from your death, he'll facilitate it, and then he'll ignore the fact that you died. Not entirely sure why that quote popped into my head after yesterday's hearing, but uh, it seems fairly appropriate. The guy with the Adolf Hitler haircut, uh, who was on the tour with Congressman Loudermilk, was apparently carrying four phones with him. I don't know about you, but I think even the most hardcore aficionado of wall sconces doesn't need that many phones to take a picture. Florida governor and all-around horrible human being, Ron DeSantis, who, by the way, just uh, decided that the Florida state government was not going to make available vaccines for children under five, was asked about the fact that Elon Musk would support his 2024 candidacy. And again, because he's an all-around horrible person and an unrepentant racist, DeSantis said that he would be more than happy to have the support of an African-American. I mean, seriously, fuck him. In recent tweets, Elon Musk has made it increasingly clear that he is all in with the Republican Party, which begs this question. Why is it that the people with the most money are also the worst people on the planet, generally speaking. I mean, seriously, Musk is the poster child for bringing back Eisenhower's 90% tax rate. Please make that happen. As we're all aware, uh, inflation is very high and gas prices are increasing. Uh, and President Biden is being blamed for both of those, even though neither one of them is within his control. Doesn't matter. Uh, the right is going to hammer him for it. And uh, Americans who are suffering financially may indeed punish him for it at the polls. But just take a step back for a second. If Biden controlled gas prices, wouldn't he lower them? In a Washington Post article, we learned that uh, over 100 people were nominated for whatever office it is they were running for. Uh, who claim to be uh, supporters of the big lie and who have, uh, to one degree or another, claimed that they will not certify the results of the 2024 election if a Democrat wins. Uh, this seems to me problematic. But we see this already playing out in certain local jurisdictions. In fact, in a town in New Mexico, the election committee refused to certify the election results because they didn't like them. But what they said was, at least one person on the committee said, which again, voted unanimously not to certify the election. Um, she said that she didn't believe in her heart that the voting machines were providing accurate results. To which I say, voters care as much about the beliefs you hold in your heart vis-a-vis -vis voting machines as COVID gives a shit about whether or not you believe in it.